Alright, Sean Evans here at Lift Dales and Thrills and today we're at Wicksteed Park about an hour and 40 minutes. I'm going to say an hour and 40. Basically Google oh, told me it was an hour and a half to, to get here and it's taken two hours to get here. So we've come down to this family friendly theme park. It's just me and Ash today, no little and so uh, we've got to find some rides that are more adult appropriate. Got uh, an Avery down mm -hmm. there. They've got a nice little wave swinger which is somewhat adult friendly-ish. We've been on them at fun fairs. You got that zip line there. If that's open that would be that'll be worth a crack but I don't know if that's an upcharge or not and uh, yeah gotta go down here and get some tickets all right so we just got our tickets there from the reception and we've just been told at reception that when you come in obviously you're in the adventure zone which is all for kids so uh yeah that's why there's a large consistency of kids rides but we're going to head down to the thrill zone and check it out and some fun water rides as well so maybe just maybe it's going to be better than twin lakes all right First impressions is everything's very spaced out, but everything looks relatively tidy. Yeah, it's, it's basically like a, almost like a, a national park with uh, some rides dotted in there. You've got the theater there, it's a nice little show building. And they just look at all that, it's just a lot of space. Which definitely means there's room for expansion because there's a lot of grass there for a lot of rides. You need a map. And you need a map. Because everything is very spaced out. I can see a log flume. I can see a roller coaster. So already uh, I'm much more happier than I was at Twin Lakes. But Twin Lakes ended up being an all right day, didn't it, eventually? Yeah. When we, when we found the ride operator. Um, we got some staff. Yeah, here there seems to be enough staff members so far. I've seen quite a, quite a lot of staff members so far. All right, there's a log flume. Oh, I haven't been on a proper permanent log flume for a long, long time. Got a little paratrooper there on the right. And then the roller coaster's just tucked there behind the background. So as you can see on the right there, you got a little ladybird coaster, which is more of a kid's one. That log flume looks like quite a splash. And then obviously you got the more adult-ish coaster at the back there, Dinosaur Valley. So you had Wicker Man at Alton Towers on opening day, only running on one train. You've got Dinosaur Valley at Wicksteed Park on a dead day, running on three trains. Mental. I like this. Just a just a little bit of extra effort around the station. It's not it's not a, a well themed ride, of course it's not, but just a little something, just a little something to uh, immerse you. All right, here we go. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. Dinosaur Valley for the win. Can I talk about something? Yeah, you can talk as much as you want, mate. Nice views. You've got the train over yeah. there. Nice and little bit of everything on here. I like it! Side. Over the shoulder yeah. restraint. <laughs> Photos. <laughs> just everyone in pain like yeah i quite enjoyed that a nice little ride uh, a little bit of a little bit of theming just at the entrance there with the little dinosaur you feel a bit dizzy so that's always a sign of it quite a decent ride yeah. over the shoulder restraints which is uh, very unusual kind of reminded me of um, the creepy crawler ride at uh, oakwood but yeah i like it i'll definitely be going back on there probably a little bit later i reckon mate yeah fancy it Ooh, getting your money's worth. The log flume after. Yeah, show sure get me wet. Oh, matron. On a Galaxy Invader, and apparently this button here does something when you're riding. So I'm just going to give it a press when we're when we're going and uh, see what happens. Right. I'm pressing it. Nothing. Nothing's um, doing it. So you can get automatic. Yeah. So what I like about Wickseed Park already is that it's a normal park where you can just walk around. You can walk your dogs, you can come down for a picnic. And then if you want to do rides, you can pay per ride or you can buy a wristband. So it's nice. It's like having a, your local forest park or something like that, for example, having a bunch of roller coasters and a, a bunch of rides to do. So it's nice. And it gives you the option to uh, do whatever you want. And there's also some cool, cool little upcharge things like this, should you wish to do them. Welcome to the Silver Dollar Saloon. Grab a gun. 
pay a pound and uh, shoot away. Very cool. Do I risk embarrassment of going on the Ladybird roller coaster in front of all the parents? Of course, of course I do. I have absolutely no shame, no shame at all. It's ace, it's ace. Rides are quiet, there's a lot of people here, like I said before, it's a normal park where people walk around. There's food, how's your burger, mate? Yeah, is it good? Is it spicy? Spicy but nicey. No, he ordered the hot bird burger. So it's chicken burger with jalapeno and hot sauce. And after seeing it, now I want one, so I've ordered one too. I'm not gonna lie, that doesn't look half bad. Doesn't look half bad. Nice view too. Well, they definitely don't skimp on the jalapenos, are you? <laughs> that is one hot bird. Like my nose, my nose today. <laughs> right after a spicy meal such as that, we really, really need to cool down. Everything's a walk on today, absolutely everything. I love it. I love log flumes, I haven't been on a proper one for years. It's been traveling fun fair ones for. <laughs> ages now there's actually one i can come to it's local it's quite nicely themed there's a lot of trees around it looks all right nice it? Well, yeah today. lovely bit of wood down the queue like this looks really nice This is my second lap on it right now and it's, it's immersive uh, it's got really nice little bits of foliage around the ride uh, lots of like wooden accents and stuff that really add to it it's just a simple layout but it's just a nice permanent log flume uh, it's well worth it well worth the trip just for this ride if the weather's good i'm very impressed by wicksteed park so far and this the first time around made me jump a mile <laughs> okay, now I got wet. <laughs> now I got wet. <laughs> Safe to say, yes, you do get wet on the back. That log flume impressed me. Impressed me a lot. Lovely weather, lovely park. That's my review so far. Lovely weather, lovely park. Sitting on it, Operations on that power trooper were horrendous. Six minutes to go around locking everybody. This, so we're already sat down, but the well, we were, actually we no, we were, we were standing up to start here. with, and the, the the actual bar that keeps you locked in was locked. So we had to go around and open it up, let everybody on. But then when we sat down, he checked, and then checked again to make sure we were in safely. Now I'm all for health and safety but I thought that was a bit excessive. It's a very small... <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm just talking about health and safety as well. Right, welcome to the Splash Zone. All right, we've got a nice little uh, cafe, play area. Little uh, old antique cars going around in the far end there. they got the train coming down here. And uh, we got this vintage boat ride thing that will be going on shortly uh, over here. That train was much nicer than the Twin Lakes one. Much nicer. Right, so this looks like it's on some sort of pulley system that takes you back into the station and just launches you into the lake. I'm all for it, let's go. Look at this for a queue line. <laughs> all right. Yeah, it's safe to say I've never been on a queue line like this before. And I wouldn't like to be uh, on this particular queue line if there is a wait for the ride. <laughs> 
Get some lovely views of the park though. It's like I was scaling basically a fire exit to get up to the top of the ride. Look at this, old school boat. Yeah, I'll go front. Straight in the front, 100 years old apparently, right? That's reassuring. <laughs> We've just been thrown into a lake, mate. We've just, we just come to Wickstead Park for a day out and they've thrown us into a lake. No, we've been pulled up by a rope. <laughs> yeah, we are. I think it's a hundred year old ride. It's going to take a hundred years to get pulled back to the top, I think. <laughs> it's definitely something different. Very cool. Breaks. Literally, that's the only thing stopping us from uh, being abandoned in a lake. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, mate. Thank you, Rita. Thank you very much. All right, as we climb down the the old school um, <laughs> escape shaft, some nice little holiday homes there. I'd love to stay there. Lovely, they were really smart. Yeah, it looks like they're building a few of them as well. Alright, I'm just taking a little trip down here because uh, way back when they had something very, very similar at Alton Towers. So I just wanted to come down here, show you guys something right at the far end of the splash zone, uh, reminiscing basically about uh, the classic cars that they used to have at Alton Towers. I always know when Ash has enjoyed a ride, he's always saying, let's go on again. I need to go on again for, for more footage. And do you know which one it was? More footage. It was the water rides that I've been on three times. Yeah, yeah, it is. Well, it's it perfect weather so for it. So. Yeah, worth it. This is a train station. Lovely. Yeah, it's a proper train station. Really, really nice. So right, we're just going back to the entrance and as you can see down there there's playgrounds for kids you've got that zip wire thing which sadly was closed otherwise you know we would have been straight on that you've got a uh, bird avery down at the bottom and a little meerkat thing which we'll go and try and check out now so the avery's actually closed not sure why a uh, little bit of a padlock on the door there, as you can see. Hopefully the meerkat thing's open. All right, into meerkat manor we go. Oh, you are definitely nice and close up in here. Not like at other parks where you're miles away trying to trying to spot them. <laughs> this is ace. You sit up close and personal. It's included in your wristband. And there's a massive space for them here to just have a good time. Look at this guy. All right, after the meerkat thing and through this gentleman's slash gentle person's legs, there's crazy golf. Now we haven't got time for crazy golf. We've got to head back, but just give you a little look at what the, the course looks like. Oh, it's a very basic one. Not too much in the way of theming, but still nice. So wristband, you just show it and you're just going everywhere. Meerkat, Wiki's farmyard, where are we going now? I like it. What a lovely little area. It's even got a little gift shop at the end. Alright. As you can see behind me, there's like a treetop adventure for kids. 
This place has thoroughly impressed me. You get your money's worth. We've done multiple rides. Uh, we've gone on the meerkat thing. We've gone in like a little barnyard farm walk through. All of that's included in your wristband. Nice food, friendly staff, well landscaped, very tidy park. Roller coaster looks well maintained. All the other rides look well maintained. Thoroughly enjoyed that. It's lovely little train as well, going around, lovely station. Blows Twin Lakes out the water in terms of uh, that family park vibe. There was staff on hand at every ride. Yeah, enjoyed it, thoroughly enjoyed it. Highly recommend it. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Click on the link in the description for Ash Thomas Films and trying to get him to the almighty 2,000 subscribers. Oh, only 40 off. Oh, only 40 off. Just need 40 of you to click that link in the description box below and get Ash up to 2,000. I wish one of you've been watching Left Dills and Thrills. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.